Hi guys, welcome back to Kick Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. Well, it's workshop walk time again. We're going to show you what we've been doing over the last week or two and some of the new models and some of the new features that's been going on. So let's start with this. Right, cracking on with this. This is the RX5 Turbo, uh, fresh back from IVA. So this has all been IVA tested, uh, easy to get through generally with the turbo on or normally aspirated. They can do both either way for you. This particular car is going to be our demo car. So if you are subscribed, get ready to watch out. Like we did with videos before, a little test drive on this one once it's gone on for its dyno. We'll probably show you some of the work it's going to be doing onto the dyno. Uh, some of the features that we've done on this particular car, um, essentially instead of a standard 185, we've actually got a 205 um, section tire. It's a 205 60 13 on a seven inch rim. Um, we've now gone in with a uh, change at the moment. We may only show, we may go back to the other way, but it's got the LED headlights. It's got the cup nose on it and we've got a flat bonnet, which is quite nice because it does fit with the Mazda engine, we can fit the flat bonnet. I'm not sure about the VVT, if you've got VVT revariant, because uh, that sticks in about here, then you do have to run the scoop, unfortunately. Uh, we're starting to fit the, uh, the weather pack on here, so we've got the windscreen going on, um, the staunchions, we will have some mirrors, it's the final job to do really here. And inside, we've still got the GRP seats, we're going to be changing to the new style seats. In the interior, we've got, um, and the boot cover here, we've got the, the carbon vinyl, uh, which is really nice, nicely padded interior cover. We've actually covered the dash here, also in some vinyl. We've got a leather steering wheel, 300 mil steering wheel, with a standard instruments here. So you've got all your lights and your little bell aluminium switches in here. And this has actually got the lowered floor pan, so it's about 40 mil lower. So you sit quite low down, actually. My head finishes about here. So I've got an acre of space. So for you taller gentlemen that are sort of six foot seven, six foot ish, that sort of size, not a problem. We can accommodate you in this vehicle. We've also got on the back here, we've got the LED light pack and we've got the, again, satin back carbon stripe. We've got the little bullet number plate light, something, something different. And we've got the standard fog light and LED pipe pack with the uh, taller roll bar on here. We've actually got the uh, Woolwood disc conversion done on here. So we've done the, the Woolwood caliper conversion instead of the standard Mazda one, which is in here, which we've shown a feature on before. And definitely I can confirm 100% now this is IVA compatible because it's just gone through the test. So the efficiency of the Mazda handbrake is actually very, very good because of the clicks on it. So this come out, I think the gauge you need to do about 18% and we were around 20%, so it's not a problem. Just got a, we're going to be changing the exhaust. I think we're going to be putting a carbon one on this. We're undecided at the moment. We're going to put a, a polished one or a carbon one. So that's why that's not on. And I'll show you under the bonnet. Uh, we're quite pleased with this, nice and clean and tidy. And it's sort of carried a theme really, sort of, it's this dark, green, which is the MK Racing green color, and black, and we're trying to carry that theme through the whole of the car. So we've got in here, it's a 1.8 engine. We did do a little build on it. It has got um, forged rods in the bottom end here, and we've got a TDO4 19T turbo. Run it on the standard wastegate here is, I think there's seven or eight PSI, and then we've got a little boost controller under here. Now on here, we've got uh, a PC680 battery, you've got the oil catch tank, our header tank, all of that is standard with our bulkhead, our billet pedal box that goes in there. Pretty much standard Mazda fitment and a slight different um, intercooler setup we've got under here. Um, we could pop that off and show you on another video, separate when we drop all the nose cone off and show you that, but it's slightly different intercooler arrangement as well, just to do that. Because we're kind of aiming 280, 300 horsepower probably on this particular car with the little button here. This little one here that says high boost. So we can uh, run that round off wastegate and then we'll be able to run high boost. So we hopefully should be able to run this around 200 horsepower-ish on standard. And then hopefully, that's the number we're sort of aiming for, 280 to 300 horsepower. This particular car, you can come and see it at the factory here. We can talk you around it or is actually going to be at race retro as well, which is only in a week or so's time. That's uh, the weekend of the 24th of February, race retro, great event at Stoneley Park showground where we used to hold the National Kit Car Show, actually. So that'll be full of this. This will be on the show, so you're welcome to come down and have a look at the car in person, or you can come down and see it in the factory. We'll talk you through the specs, have a sit in it, have a look, see what the fit and finish is like. We're really super proud of this in the way it looks, the color, and most people have complimentary on the color, actually. So if you're looking for something a bit more classic looking, but stealthy again with the satin black, 
this is definitely up your street. Right, K20 time. Not gonna go too much into this. We've done a little separate video on this. We were a little test drive and a sort of spec on it. So K20 is all buttoned up, looking polished and ready to go to its new owner. But yeah, if you're watching out, look out for the K20 200 and, <gasps> I'm not gonna tell you, horsepower <laughs> test drive. Right, well, obviously we've been talking about Honda engines. We've also had Turbo Tony's car in. That has actually been in for Geo uh, during the week. Set that up, what a monster, what a car, amazing. And we've enjoyed setting that car up. It's pretty easy actually, it's an RR chassis. It's easy to set up, but there's another separate video on that one, guys. You've got to go, and if you haven't seen it, go and watch that 400 horsepower. It's absolutely bonkers. Right, while we're on the theme of earlier, speaking about IVA test, the m &R, you've probably seen the build progressing on this one, guys. It's all finished and done and been through its IVA test and all passed, no issues at all, all ready to go to its new owner, uh, ready for collection. And yeah, it's been, it's been a nice little project actually. It's very different to what we do. Um, and you know, it's a bit it, a bit different to how they all go with it, but very, very similar, very, very similar. So it's a few bits of our touches have gone in it. We've got our wing stays and my guys are custom one instead of his, the original round ones and a few other bits where we've indicators. These are out here, you probably think, oh, they look silly, but unfortunately to get compliance for IVA would be in 400 mil from here to here, you have to have these long indicator extensions and uh, a few other bits like these mirrors for the center, etc., just to make sure they're compliant and the mirrors are all on here. But other than that, this car is all buttoned up. Um, sounds, it's again, another Mazda turbo engine. Um, I'm think well, this has got going to dyno yet, but will make very good power, I'm pretty sure, because it's got quite a big turbo on it, and uh, the engine's been built, I've been informed by the customer, but good stopping power, it's got, it's got Wilwoods on the front, vented, and it's got cross drill and groove stand on the back, so it's plenty good. I think it came in around 600 and, I think it was 650 kilos in terms of weight. Um, so, but you'd expect that. It's got a cage and everything else and a turbo and all of that sort of thing. So you kind of expect it to come in around there with the sidebars and it's all that little bit extra weight. So 650 kg is not bad really because it's going to have huge horsepower to push it along. So that's all buttoned up. Get ready now for the spring and the sunshine. Right, another car that's just landed with us um, that we just pushed out the bay just to do a little talk on it for you. Uh, this is hashtag Steve's car. It's a RX5, which is a Mazda Renegade with this. It's the oil empowered Busa engine in here, all dry sumped, Philip AT throttle bodies on it. Um, really nice bit of kit actually. Steve's done a great job building this. Looks really, really strong. It's got the internal cage. It's got paddle shift on it, which is really, really smart actually on, on this particular car. It's got a big cooling pack. It's got a decent size oil cooler. It's got a big radiator on it. It's got wheel woods on the front uh, as well. Um, Quite nice bits of carbon here, carbon interior and dashboard and a few other bits, branded harnesses, really nice aim dashboard on here. And um, the extra wide arches that we used to do, it's got these on it because it's got the really nice force racing billet wheels. Now they are really light and they do, <laughs> I've got to say, they do look very, very smart. So if you've got a spare bit of cash, <laughs> You want to get some of these wheels out. They do look amazing, I will say that. And uh, Carl at Force does an amazing job. They look absolutely on the money. And it's pretty much as we would build anyhow. It's right, so Steve sort of followed the guy, followed the man. He's been doing it a, a little while, taking his time getting it done, but it's, it's pretty much they all look the same, which is great, because they go together the same. The diff, the, the fuel tank and that, and everything else that he's done. Um, all very, very smart, very, very neat under there. Nicely tidy. And we were in for a few little bits to do it. We're gonna make his wing stays fit his force wheels, because the offset on them is different. A few little YVA touches and do his emissions work for him. Get the wing stays bonding on. A few other little tinkering jobs, set up jobs for him as well. Doing the geo, um, getting it all ready for him to, to put it into IVA. But I've got to say, he's done a great job. Car, when it rolled in, you can tell just when someone's got an attention to detail. And he's done a great job there, Steve. So, shows you what you can do in a garage at home. Look at that, amazing. Yeah, get yourself in the queue, guys. Buy one of these, have the time of your life. Amazing car. Right, let's head it back into the build bay here. What we got here, guys, is a Sport 200. This is hashtag Peter's car. I'm gonna build. What have we done with this? Well, it's getting started, really. So it's in here, it's got, um, the chassis's all been done, powder coated, it's all in. Pedal box has gone in, lowered floor pans on here. Uh, which is really smart. Chassis number's all been etched in here. We do a, like a, a, a machine that etches it all nice and neat and tidy into the chassis there. Nice and neat. And then we're going to be looking at modifying and pitting up and doing a few other bits that go onto the chassis. But before that, engine prep time. So this is it. 
This is Peter Cart, he's uh, injured, he's supplied this into us here. Joe's is just doing it now. We've just had uh, the sump off here, we're just going to put the billet one on it. We've done a little bit of clean up work on it, a bit of covery work. We've actually had the clutch plate off here, so around here. We've had all the clutch off and soaking the clutch plates as well. We've put the started to put on the, the sprocket adapter. So this is going to be a bit more clean, a bit more detailed. We'll get that prepped and then we'll stitch it to one side ready to plonk into the engine bay when it's ready. So a bit of prep work first on that. Get the billet sump on here, which is this one. Really nice bit of kit. Oh, we do like, we do like billet sumps. It's got the dipstick in there, look at this. Look, how can it not like that? I mean, it should be in an ornament. Should be in your case at home. Super shiny in front of the TV. That is beautiful. Um, we work with RLM on those. That guys do a great job. We know that product works. It works on the Cup 200 race cars. Amazing, amazing bit of kit. And why would you go dry sump? You don't need to. Fit that on. Ticks a box, works every time. So this bit will carry on. So if you're subscribing, you'll get to see this being put together as well. It's going to have the new billet front up whites, billet bearing carriers, roll cage, it's having a few other nice little touches on this Sport 200 um, car. So yeah, Pete will be pleased to see this get started and we can get him out ready for springtime and enjoying the fun. But yeah, can't wait to get, I love it when these builds start. Confessions with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're back in the office and it is time to do some questions with Sean. Let's go guys. Right, so the first question that's been sent in is what are the chances of someone that's six foot seven fitting in the driver's seat? Absolutely, positively, yes. <laughs> um, we've actually got, we built a car for a customer who's six foot seven, anyway, he races it. I say John if you're out there. Good luck for the Cup 200 Championship, he's around that height. And yes, you can get him with the new load floors, that certainly helps we've given you a bit more leg room as well. So yeah, should not be a problem. But yeah, if you want to do, come down here as a factory, come and jump in the demo car and have a, have a little try. We can uh, squeeze you in there, get you a cup of tea free of charge as well. All right, the second question that came in was, can you race a K20 car against the Hayabusa, please? As in, can we race one against it or will you race in a race series? What do you mean by that? Well, I think he wants to see a video, but. Oh, okay, right. So that's a tricky one to set up because we don't actually have a K20 demo car at this moment in time. A couple of customers have got built, but it's something that if we get them out on track, but I suppose is that we could do that, but then it's going to depend on the driver. So racing one against another, is it a better driver than the other driver? So maybe if we ever get the opportunity to do it, um, maybe it might be too late on in the year, but certainly someone like Blighton Park, where we definitely get a variation of cars, it'd be great to see it. Someone like Rich Webb in the car, he's an amazing driver as we know, and can do lap times consistently, getting them in both cars and see what they're doing in the lap time, that'd be, that'd be really cool to see. So yeah, I, I'd actually enjoy that video as well. Right, so the third and final question that came in was, have you ever thought about making a fiberglass detachable hardtop? Ooh, well Neil's sitting over there as well actually, I can see him in the corner of my eye. We have haven't we at one point. Mm. Don't know what it would look like though, but we have actually spoke about doing something like that. Somebody wants to sketch and do a drawing for us. There you go. Somebody sketch a drawing for us, what you would like it to look like. Yeah, there's plenty of talent out there with what they build in a bit. We'd love to see some artist impression of what a fiberglass top would look like on an MK actually so but yeah it's something we have actually it's not on this year's agenda I will say that much but it's something we've actually had when we do our sort of R&D stuff what would be cool what would be good what would be different fiberglass hardtop it may be out there someone's done something similar on Cobras in that sense as well but yeah get your sketch show pens out guys and give us some examples of what you think it could look like sketch show pens? <laughs> What's the Right, thanks for the question with Sean, guys. We're sort of wrapping up this week. If you want to know more about the range, whether it be a K20, a Mazda, a Duratec, or Hayabusa engine-powered car, you hook us up, phone call, email, or come and see us at the factory, as we always say. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will catch you next week.